The final contingent from the 2nd Battalion, the Royal Gurkha Rifles, have just returned to their base in Brunei Garrison, effectively marking an end to their involvement in Operation Herrick. 2RGR's role was largely one of police mentoring and maintaining stability. Here's Tim Cooper. 86 men from A Company, the 2nd Battalion Royal Gurkha Rifles, finally rolled into their home base at 2am to be reunited with their families and colleagues after their time in Afghanistan. Two RGR turned out in force to give them a hero's welcome, with many of those doing the greeting having been greeted themselves at similar events over recent weeks. Allowing for pre-deployment training and the time spent in Afghanistan for the waiting families, this effectively marked an end to a year of separation. The men here were based at Patrol Base 1 in Afghanistan, one of the more volatile areas that two RGR had to operate in, as was illustrated in the most unfortunate of circumstances towards the end of the tour. In terms of operational tour, I think uh, it went uh, very well, um, but at the, towards the end, uh, obviously, uh, we lost uh, one of the guys, so that's a bit of a sad news for us. Uh, apart from that, uh, tour has been a successful tour. Two RGR's duties at Patrol Base 1 have now been handed over to A Company 5 Rifles. The Gurkha's natural affinity with the Afghan locals saw families in their operational area returning to their homes, a fact that provides Sergeant Major Dili Kumar Rai with hope for the future. A lot of families uh, came back in their, in their home, so um, I think that because of the, the, the way uh, we worked with them and uh, they trusted us and uh, they feel, felt uh, very secure. Two RGR will now be presented with their operational medals before heading off for some well-earned leave with their families. Tim Cooper, Forces News.